Hello YouTube and welcome to my very first let's play of Elite Dangerous. Um, this is the new Odyssey version if uh, you don't know the game. Uh, this is the station I'm at. Uh, going to the elevator. Uh, sorry for a long video but uh, I, w I was going to make it into two but then I took it back so you kind of need to know everything. So yeah, this is the station I'm in. This is what it looks like. Just you know, quick um, look around. Let's ask it's actually the station I uh, the station. Oh wait, you didn't see that part. Of the part. Never mind. But uh, basically, in the uh, update 11 of Elite Dangerous, that video I made. Um. I actually went to uh, this station to show off what they used to look like and then what they look like on the carriers, but uh, and my recorder ended up uh, not recording that and I didn't bother to redo it. Anyway, here are my loadouts. Uh, are you gonna load? No. Yes. No. Maybe. Alright, whatever. Sometimes I find on my computer it doesn't really load. <laughs> it's probably just my computer. Sure. We're actually. So yeah, I'm going to be making some money today. To, uh, Whatever get you some need. Ships. We've got the ship. Take your time. Yeah, yeah. Just hurry up and load. So at the moment I'm just in the basic sidewinder, but I'm looking to get the Cobra. Wait, where is it? Oh, they have an anaconda. Nice. Not that I have enough for that. I actually have an anaconda in my personal account. Yeah, the Cobra. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I hope this ready, mic is better ask for you guys. Um, I got out my headset and, uh... Managed to get the mic to work. If you're one of my friends, you'll know the story, but uh, yeah, not all of you are my friends. So, um, basically, the thing is with my headset is that sometimes the mic cuts out. It's all static and laggy and doesn't work. So, I hope I've set it up so it doesn't do that. Uh. Yeah. Let's go take this out. I still, my favorite feature of the thing is that they've added uh, elevator music to the elevators. That, that's, that's good. Uh, what? I'm trying to go to a high res zone. Uh, that's a uh, high resource zone. Uh, there's none in the system, it seems. That's okay. If I just. There, there was high resource zones in the uh, system I first started in. <coughs> Let's see. Ones which I have. Seen. No. Turn. 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 Come on. Turn that off. No. That. Yes. There we go. I don't know which one it was. I. Let's try that one. Yeah. Sorry. This let's play isn't starting with me like creating the thing, but like I actually. Have Again, guys, sorry for the long episode, but hey, it's not as long as the 
my war hammer, so it's okay. And if you're watching this before the Warhammer episode, I am. Friendship drive charging. I recommend it. It's long, but uh, you get to see most of the functions of the game. You have cleared the no fire zone. Four, three, two, one, engage. I also really like the uh, new Hyper Space. Honestly, even if you're playing like no, like a no going on your feet challenge, you could do that with Odyssey, but like, yeah. The reason I want to go to a resource place is uh, to fight. Um, Pirates, because that's a nice, easy way to make money when you first start out. Uh, I actually had this recorded two days ago, but uh, my internet has been really bad lately. Like, it just drops suddenly, and uh, which means it just renders me unable to do anything. Warning: temperature like, critical. Like I, uh, I can't upload or load anything. Like it just says unable to load. And I'm like, oh come on! <laughs> yep, it's flying system. I hope it's the flying system. If it's not, then I'm screwed. Well, not really, I just head back to the system I'm in. But it's just a waste of fuel jumping and then jumping back. Four, three, two, one, engage. Um. Yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play series. I know I will. Such a good game, like. Uh, thanks for the, uh, I'd like to uh, shout out the friends who gave me the money which allowed me to get Odyssey. Otherwise, I would have only had, um, Horizon. So yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Jeremy, who's been featured in some of my videos. Yeah, thanks for, um, giving me the money and also his, uh, friend. She also um helped. Friendship drive charging. I really like the uh motion of Elite Dangerous, like uh the voices, like four, three, two, one, engage. Like that, but even at the station, like you can just walk past people and you can hear them having a conversation and stuff. So yeah, it's uh, my headset. So I'm just grinding it, making sure the uh, mic actually works. If uh, it works and uh, it's a lot better than my other one, well then I'll definitely be using it because uh, I'm trying to use the best quality. I have to say that the Odyssey interface is a bit hard to get used to. Like, not on this, but like on the uh, choosing your destination, you like click and hold, and like at the stations, the uh, consoles and stuff. It's definitely different to Horizon, but uh, I can get used to it. All I can say to those console players. Imagine playing console like this so bad. Like PCs are the way. Like almost every YouTuber uses PC. And uh, I know what you're saying. Like, 
oh, but it's like says A and stuff. They use the PC and then they connect the um, a, a, a controller. Boom, mind blowing. Because uh, me bringing up the console isn't just random, it's that because uh, Elite Dangerous has decided to uh, not support console anymore. So yeah. Um, hopefully that means we can uh, push forward in the game a lot further than what we could before. Also, no, my game is not frozen. I forget. Oh, I think I was looking up um, on Anara or EDDD uh, what system to go to, which had a resource site. Yeah, I think that's what I was doing. Yeah. And I found that uh, that uh, this system did have a resource site. It's just very far away. That's what I found. The uh, app just keeps rolling down. I'll run into it. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit weird having combat in such a small ship when I used to flying like an anaconda in my personal account or like just a really strong fighting ship like a crate and then before those ships the crusader <laughs> yeah but uh yeah that used to be my ship but now it's got to be uh my crate I haven't done up my anaconda yet, but yes, I will be doing it up for combat. If you guys want, I can do an episode on my personal account. It won't be a part of the let's play, obviously. But uh, yeah, I can do an episode on uh, my uh, anaconda. Or, yeah, as a type nine. I'm looking to get an, a type ten. Uh, AFK because <coughs> you know that's recommended to uh, make quite a bit of money uh, yeah just flying out the site as I said it's pretty far away uh, if you guys want to join my discord um, I will uh, I'll link it in the description and I'll uh, put it here. Yeah, so uh just flying out there. Also if you guys are enjoying um watching my channel, uh someone wants me to do uh not someone uh well, uh, someone called Justin, uh, he wants me to, uh, do a QA, and a which I can, but, uh, first I need questions. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want to have a and a just put your questions in the comment, um, or if you just want to, uh, say hi, put them in the comments. Uh, if you, are uh, like this video, then, uh, Considering liking the video, uh, and also, uh, if you are liking my channel and you keep coming back to watch it, consider subscribing. Yeah, you know, this gas giant actually, like, the rings are pretty nice, like, they're not that dirty, but I guess it's because it's. Well, it's not, it's not the farest you're ever gonna have to see me fly. I'll probably also make quite a bit of money off camera. But I'll definitely do like a lot of the combat on camera. Because personally, 
Combat is my favorite to watch from the YouTubers. Yeah, this is me looking around the cockpit. But yeah, combat's my favorite to do on camera. Uh, that's just a little, a little trick which I like to do. It speeds you up and then you go uh, shooting to there. And as long as Super Cruise Assist can engage, then drop out really far. Not fast when you drop out, but like you can get there a lot faster and still drop out. Oh, right, I don't have a fight. <laughs> There's like no one around. Where is everyone? Yeah, I think I am coming to the end of my COVID. Uh, my nose isn't all blocked up anymore. Uh, I actually only had a fever on the first night, but then I started taking Panadol, so uh, that didn't come back, and I don't have one anymore. <coughs> and uh, my cough was a lot better, so uh, yeah. Just uh, flying out with this guy. You know, I love the new Odyssey shockwaves. Like in Horizon, you used to be like right next to a ship, or like you ran them destroyed, and like you could be right in front of them and they blow up, and there would be a shockwave. I didn't get a shockwave in this video, I don't think, but uh, I have gotten the shockwave before, and you're just really close and it blows up and you just get shaken around, yeah that's a neat little feature which they've added, like it's so much more realistic and stuff. So this guy is like a beast. He's already taken out like two people. <laughs> uh, that may have been the second one there. This is my first person I actually fight. Yeah, I spent so long like just flying around. Sorry, guys, but uh, unfortunately, this is what Elite is like. A lot of flying around, and until you get better ships, you can't really do much. But yeah, combat is like the best. Yeah, I was. I just gave him a little flyby. Uh, uh, forgot that I I was going at max speed. Oh wow! Uh, 
is uh, you manage your pit. Uh, basically, you can either reset them, and that puts you in the between each um, weapons, engines, and system. System manages shield and other things. Weapons manages obviously weapons. And then engines manages engines. Basically, if you want your shields back, you put full in, you put full into a uh, system, and then you get your shields back, and they stay stronger. But if you want your weapons, then you put like full into your weapons, and then your weapons won't drain because uh, they use energy unless they're kinetic weapons, uh, which are like uh, you know our guns at the moment, like uh, their bullets. But you can also get energy weapons, which just use energy. So like, you just you just need uh, energy. But uh, they drain your energy, and like, so you have to wait for them to uh, get their energy back. <coughs> Target destroyed. <coughs> yeah. Uh. I don't have any kinetic weapons because, uh, basically you get the starting chip, the Sidewinder, for free, and there's, there's insurance, uh, it's got no insurance because it's, uh, free, because it's just loaned to you, that's how they do it, and so, unless you're doing, a uh, I beat, like, well, not beat, because you can't actually beat Elite Dangerous, unless you were to explore the whole lot galaxy, which, it's impossible because we've only done like 1% of the galaxy so far, so... Yeah. But like, if you got elite, uh, because uh, there's different ranks, so like, there's combat rank, there's trading rank, and there's exploring rank. If you get elite and all three you will then... That's basically beating the game. Except you can still keep playing for like, fun and stuff. So yeah, my goal is to get Elite in all three and to get a um get a carrier called the BNS Enterprise. And then after that, I can do like challenges with you guys, like flying out to like Cygnus Alpha or like going to go fight Thargoids, and like I can like you guys can all land at like carrier, and I can just like give you guys all the because carriers or like stations, except like. They can jump 500 light years, which is a massive amount, like, no ship can make that, like, there's jumper condors, which are anacondas, which are outfitted for jumping, and they can jump, like, 320 light years or something, and that's, like, the biggest. So, uh, just taking out this guy here. There we go. Target destroyed. I can't wait to start taking out wings. Like, with the bigger ships. Because you can have a wing, and you can have, like, up to four people on that wing. I usually only have three, myself, and two of my friends. Sometimes only two of me and someone else. <coughs> Yeah. Uh, I also plan to uh, have my own squadron, and uh, so there's a uh, there's a special like background thing which you can do, and it allows you to take over a station, like your squadron owns a station. So yeah, that's also another thing which I want to do, and that like becomes home base. To do that, you have to be independent though. So despite the fact that it's, uh, I prefer an empire, like, an empire is a lot stronger, like, pfft, rebels, you suffer. Um, to do that, uh, background thing, I forget what it's actually called, uh, first I have to put more into it before I can actually do it, plus I have to make, like, 10 million, so, to get a squadron. Uh, not gonna happen too soon, but I'm just like, those are my plans. 
And so yeah, if any of you guys play Elite Dangerous, you can join. You can join that squadron and stuff. Uh, this guy was a uh, a good player. Made like all the money I needed in just one one go. So yeah, we had this guy, and this guy, you know one thing I find funny is you sometimes find system authority and when you scan them they say they want the, and I'm like, what the hell are you still system authority? I can't actually attack you, otherwise your wing will attack me and they're clean. Be the to fine, even though you'll want to. So yeah, this is definitely like the real life, like this fine and stuff. You can speed, or like, like you can, you can just speeding. I feel like you're allowed to go. It says you're only allowed to go 100 around the station, but I've actually gotten it directly onto 100 by speed, and it says I'm speeding. You can actually only throw 99 around the station. Uh, so yeah, but you don't actually get a fine for speeding. It's just if you hit someone or something and you're going to fast, you get a fine. So yeah, there's like fines that you have to pay off, but there's also bounties. So if you like kill a wanted people, you get a bounty and then you can hand them in. Uh, one thing which is kind of annoying about Odyssey, which you'll see I experience later on after I finish my uh, combat run. Uh, you, you, uh, uh, this guy is Korea. Uh, yeah, I have to wait until he's low to get in like the last bit before I get paid for it and I don't actually have to bother fighting him. But yeah. Um, the problem I experienced later is the fact that you can't hand in your bounties when you're in the station. Like, you have to be in your ship and land it up the station and hand in your bounties. You can't actually hand it in. There's no, like, ad admin ad administration office in your station. You can walk around through it. Like, you have to be in your ship to uh, hand it in, which is kind of annoying. to be skilled. Uh, personally, I think trading is the best way. Or exploring. And then combat, and then mining. Yes, I know, I just put combat above mining, but it's true. <laughs> from my experience, I make more from combat than mining. But, uh... I used to have a friend who uh, was like a pro miner. Then we'd make 
a few million from, uh, from mining. But yeah, you need a skilled person either with you or you are the skilled person to make. 100 million but even then we spent two hours and we only made like 10 million it's still a good earner for, like like at the stage i am in my personal account now it it's not like 10 million is nothing but uh back then when i did make the 10 million from that mining trip but it was something Here, just uh, heading to the uh, station to uh, pay off, uh, well, not pay off the time, but to uh, collect my bounty. Uh, yeah. I quite like making first impression videos, but uh, they quite well. So far, they haven't been expensive because uh, I've just gotten the games for free. So like Tab G was free, and uh, I got Warhammer for free yesterday on Epic. Um, or if it's yeah, on the first on April Fools, I got it for free on Epic because uh, it went out for free and then uh, I also got CD Skylines for free of Epic yeah Epic is good it gives you free games and they're pretty popular games like I also got Elite for free off of Epic and then I got a second Elite on Steam not for free but uh sort of was because uh Yes, some of my friends, uh, Jeremy and, uh, yeah, uh, they, uh, paid for it, for it because, uh, it was my birthday and they gave me just a Steam, uh, gift voucher, and so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's how I got that. Yeah, just coming into the station. Yeah, you also have to press dock. You can't just like go in and land. There's also like a neat feature. It's auto dock. Not, it's not inbuilt into the um computer. It's actually a module. Uh, modules is in outfitting, uh, so you can have different modules. So you can have a combat build. You can have a trading build. This is what uh, my inside binder looks like on the outside. Yeah, just looking around. Uh, you can have a exploring build. It just change. It just depends on what modules. So yeah, auto dock is a module that you can put on. Quite often, uh, you run out of space to add on auto dock, but uh, on the smaller ships, they you don't usually like. Maybe. But yeah, I know it sounds weird. Like you'd expect on the bigger ships, you would because you have. No, on the smaller ships, you'd run out of. Uh, ra run out of space because uh because uh they're smaller so you have less space but the reason is not many things other than autodoc super cruise and yeah uh can go into a one spot so there's different sizes so there's one up seven or eight I think it's seven. Um, maybe it's eight. I don't know. But yeah, so there's one, two, three, four. All the smaller ships usually only go up to four. No, 
like three at max, maybe four. Um, but they have a lot more one spots, so that's why you can add in the order dog because uh, you just you just have more place to put on the order dog. <laughs> Whereas on the larger ships, they have a lot more bigger spots, a lot less smaller spots, so uh, you kind of sacrifice a lot of good spots. I can't believe it too. I even went into the menu and then I forgot what I was doing in the menu. And so I got off. I I've got the hand in my bounty. That's what I'm trying to say. But I went into the menu. That's like, yeah. Wait, maybe you can hand it in at the console. Oh, I never thought of that. Uh, I'm kind of dumb. I have to check that out in my next video. Whether you can hand it in at the on the console. Cause I'm pretty sure I went to the console too. My brain was just like hand in your bounties, but it wasn't actually telling me like directly. And I didn't get the hint. Oh wait, no, I didn't go to the console. But maybe you can hand it in at your console. Oh if you just need shut any up. advice, just let me know. Whatever you need. Take your time. Uh, like I like the immersion, but sometimes I'm just like, please, just let me buy the things I want to buy. And here's when I realized I didn't have enough money because I hand I hand handed in my bonds. <sighs> Back to the ship, when guys. You're ready. Uh, I like the Maverick suit. Like it's it's a it's a mix between because there's a fully combat suit that's the Dominator. There's a exploring ship. Uh, not ship. Uh, well there is exploring ships as well as combat ships and trading ships. It's like the Type Nine is a trading ship. The Anaconda. I see Anacondas are bad. The Cut is a ch trading ship. To be honest. Uh. Yeah, I guess you could say, oh, the Corvette's a um, combat ship, most definitely. And then, uh, the, 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 the Diamond Bank Explorer is a is an exploring ship, obviously. But yeah, uh, and then there's the Artemis suit. I'm pretty sure that's the exploring suit. Don't quote me on that, I don't actually know how to pronounce the uh, name. Uh, but that, that's like the, uh, one which they show, um, they show in like all the uh, trailers for Odyssey. They show the Artemis suit, and then there's the Maverick suit, which is yellow. That's why I like it. So, uh, Bolognese colors. Um, and then there's um, but yeah, it's like an exploring combat one because uh, you can get that that sort of mix. So like, it's got some of the exploring stuff, but it still has like room for the. Uh, big combat primary weapon but the dominator is a combat suit most definitely because it has less of the exploring stuff and it has uh, <coughs> two primary instead of just one meanwhile i'm pretty sure the exploring one only has secondary no primary oh and then there's also a fourth suit it's uh the flight suit it's the one which you start with it's welcome to interact like okay <laughs> let's see if but no yeah. Rush. So here I'm gonna get my uh, cobra. Yep, there's my money. I'm gonna get a cobra and an exploring suit. Uh, ship. Uh. So here's the cobra. I don't quite understand. Like, I know what it means by like store and sell because I know that from Horizon. But like, it says we'll sell on the your current ship when it meant it will store my current ship and then it said it was um, a store current ship when it meant it will sell my current ship so it's like bro what and then here's the exploring uh basic exploring ship it's uh actually a trading ship but it can jump far it's the war for some reason it wasn't loading there it is um yeah i find those those things take a while to load. I think that's just my computer. 
Is there anything else? I, I think that's because it's a Thank laptop you. instead of a desktop. <laughs> Don't worry, I will try and get a desktop when I want. When I uh not when I want. When I uh, get enough money. Yeah, when I can. That's what I meant. Yep. We've got a wide range of- Take your time. It was my hula. So I was just getting into my cobra. I also like that it takes a little bit for it to be ready. But that's like an elite, like... Uh, Horizon. Because like, if you're in the Take ship and you swap with the ship, it takes a little bit to load. You can join the battles that will decide the future of this source. I was gonna go take a seat, but uh, then it was ready, and I was like, "Well, oh, all right." Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, beautiful footsteps. So yeah, here's the cobra. Wait, is it at the front? It's at the front. Oh. We running under the cobra, probably not the most aesthetically pleasing way, but uh, it's the way you got. So yeah, the stairs. Funny thing about the stairs, if you have a cutter, the stairs are uh, taller than you, or they're up to your shoulder. No, they're up to the, your shoulder. So, uh, yeah, you must have a really big step up to, uh, be able to walk up the cutter stairs. It's because in Horizon, um, yeah. So, yeah, this is B and S. This is the name, this is the number plate, so, yeah. And then, uh, this is the B and S, uh, you guys can comment in what names you want for the ships. I chose the one for the Sidewinder, but, uh, you guys get to choose the one for the hula and the cobra. So, uh, if your name doesn't make it onto the cobra, then it may make it onto the hula. So, yeah, comment in what names you want for both of the ships. At the moment, I'm just trying to find a way to, uh, have a name which, uh, is, like, what you guys want. Oh, I have another skin for it. Nice, I'm taking that. <clears throat> I don't know where I got that from. Because I know I have a, another skin for the Sidewinder, but basically everyone does. I didn't know it came with for the um, Cobra too. Probably doesn't. It's probably like from something else. I don't know, maybe it's from me getting Odyssey earlier? But I wasn't as early as some people, like some people were actually... You see, and now we get to see what it's like to swap into a ship by a Horizon default way. You see, uh, it just goes all black when it's loading. The little loading thing in the middle. Yeah, this is what it's like in Horizon rather than like still being able to see and run around, except you just have to wait for it. Here you have to wait for it to load. There we go. So yeah, here's the hula. I hope it's a hula. I think they may have gotten it added by mistake. I'm pretty sure it's a hula. That looks like an adder. Oh no. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, Adders are like the uh, all's more luxury version. It's more like a passenger ship. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, oh yeah, there's also a passenger class. I forgot to tell you guys about that. So that's like the Blue Galina. That's a passenger ship. Um,
Yeah, I think it may be an adult. They're still okay for jump range, but I'm pretty sure holes. No, I'm pretty sure actually, yeah, the adder is just more expensive. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna swap back to my copper because it's what I'll probably be doing my next video with. I just got the uh, adder or hula. I don't really know what it is uh, for exploring. Um, I do a little bit of exploring, except that'll be off camera. Except like, my plan is to make a uh, still film it, except just not release it until I've uh, finished the Let's Play series, and then to finish finish the Let's Play series, there'll be one more episode where it's just all of my uh, things like all of my exploring just rolled into one. So like, it'll just be like really fast, and me just flying around, doing all my trading, exploring, whatever money making I did off camera. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. See you in the next video. Ciao.